we would often work with victims as they were just very freshly coming out of exploitation and we provided them with a place to stay for a few days until we could figure out where they could go next and it was that where can they go next that created a lot of the biggest challenges. Jennifer was a part of the founding board of Restorations Canada in 2013. They created Nancy's house to bridge that gap they discovered. The home officially opened to its first residence July 6th of last year. We see ourselves really uniquely positioned. So there are a few other housing programs out there for survivors of human trafficking that are staffed around the clock, that have much more extensive in-house scheduled programming um, and are quite structured. Um, and then oftentimes survivors from the those programs will transition and live independently in the community. And we find that that's a really big um, gap. That's a really big bridge for them to be able to cross. So we find ourselves uniquely positioned to be able to um, be in that middle where they're not quite ready to live independently all by themselves in the community, um, but are, are ready for a little bit more independence. Residents can stay for up to two years. Staff help them identify goals and create a care plan. Peer advocate Michelle Fugarelli is honored to be a part of the community they've built. As a survivor herself, she works with residents and supports their individual needs. It's a really hard aspect to reintegrate back into society. Um, a lot of these individuals have lost life skills as those developmental years were spent in exploitation. So it's very important for us um, to be that standing block to help them learn these life skills. So financial literacy is huge. Um, going to the gym, it can be really traumatizing to go out and new experience, discover bus routes. Our goal here, especially for the residents here at Nancy's house, is through their two year transition that they become truly independent. And if we can help them um, and manage some triggers and traumas along the way, that's our, all we're here for. We currently have two of three bedrooms filled. We're looking to hire an essential staff person here in the house, and, and that is in partnership with Halton Region. We received funding from them to be able to hire a program manager. When that position is filled, they will welcome a third resident. They currently have an extensive wait list of applications from Halton and Hamilton. This is something that is so unique However, we need so much more of homes like this. I can personally say that I am live in the Halton region. Um, I've lived in the Halton region through my exploitation and now after. Um, I love my community. I love to be a part of this. Affordable housing is a huge problem, but furthermore, to have a home that provides wraparound care is essential to healing. If I had the opportunity to come to a place like this, it would have excelled my healing journey astronomically faster um, without additional struggles and additional traumas. So to be a part of something so unique is so powerful, but unfortunately one home is just simply not enough. We really need more resources. You can support Nancy's House by making a donation at restorationscanada.org or by attending their murder mystery and four-course dinner in the fall. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.